Hey everyone, if you're rocking the Galaxy S25 Ultra, you're in for a treat. Today I'm breaking down seven powerful features that you probably aren't using yet, but definitely should. So from secret developer tools to AI powered tricks, these will boost your productivity, creativity, and overall phone experience. So let's begin. So the first feature is your water ripple wallpaper. So first off, let's talk about the stunning visual upgrade, water ripple wallpaper. So this dynamic wallpaper will react to your touch like ripple in the pond. So when you tap or swipe on your home screen, you'll basically see realistic water ripple animation. This will make your device feel more alive and interactive. So let me show you how to create this wallpaper on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So to create this water ripple animation for your home screen, you wanna go ahead and tap on Play Store. You wanna go ahead and search for water ripple. Now here you wanna go ahead and download this app. So it's called the Water Ripples Realistic Effect. So once downloaded, you wanna go ahead and open the app. Now in the app, you can go ahead and tap on Wallpapers. And here you can go ahead and choose from all of these stock images. So as you can see, you have this stock image and you can have the effect on it. You can have this as well. If you wanna set this as your wallpaper, you go ahead and tap on Set Wallpaper. And here you can go ahead and choose if you want to set it for your home screen and your lock screen. We'll go ahead and set it for our home screen. Tap on home. And now as you can see, the effect has been applied. Say for example, you want to set a custom wallpaper. So you can go ahead and tap on settings, tap on custom wallpaper, tap on gallery, go ahead and find the wallpaper which you want to apply. So for example, this one here, here you can go ahead and customize all this. So following raindrop speed, the wave decrease speed and the water ripple size. You can also go ahead and configure the water quality. Once that's done, press save. Now go ahead and press home. And now your water ripple has been applied to your wallpaper. So it's visually appealing and immersive experience. It adds a calming dynamic touch to your phone. And it's great for showing off on your Samsung S25 Ultra's gorgeous AMO LED display. The second feature is how to see running services on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So do you want to know what's running behind the scenes? So here's how to see live services from a secret menu on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings. Now next you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find about phone. Then you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find software information. From here you wanna find the bill number. Go ahead and tap multiple times until you see a message here, developer mode has been enabled, go back. And then once that's done, you'll see this secret menu called developer options. So here you need to go ahead and tap on that developer option. And then you wanna go ahead and find running services, which is right here. So this shows you all the active apps, the RAM usage and the background processes. So as you can see, your memory status here, how much system is taking up, how much app is taking up and how much there is free. And then you can go ahead and see all the apps which are using your app memory. So this helps you identify memory hogging apps. It gives you better control over what's running on your phone and it's ideal for techies and power users. So if you enjoy tweaking your device like a pro, you should be running, you should be checking out this running services menu. The third is how to see live refresh rate of your screen. So are you curious if you're really getting that smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate when you're playing a game on your Samsung S25 Ultra? If yes, then you need to enable this live refresh rate on your screen. So here you need to go ahead and open up your settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find developer option. The developer option is a secret menu which can only be enabled from the about phone, software information, and here you need to go ahead and tap seven times on the build number until you see an option come up here saying developer mode has been enabled. Go back, find developer option, now from here, you wanna go ahead and find show refresh rate, which is right here. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show the refresh rate for your current display. So as you can see, you have something appear right here at the top left. You can press home. And now as you can see, on my home screen, I'm running a refresh rate of 120. When I'm looking at my text messages, the refresh rate is changes to 60 to 120. So your current screen refresh rate will now display as an overlay in real time. So whether it's 60, 90 or 120 Hertz. So it helps you understand adaptive refresh rate behavior. It's great for gamers and performance geeks and is useful for battery optimization. The fourth is 
how to extract text from a photo to enter in your text messages. So this one is a total game changer for productivity, text extraction from images. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up messages. And let's just say you're writing a message to this person. However, you wanna go ahead and include a text which you've seen on a paper here. So this is a cover for a Hemingweb product, which I want to go ahead and include it in my text message. So in order to do this, I can go ahead and type it out. However, if this text was very long, typing out will take a lot of time. On your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use a feature called text extraction, and you can basically extract text from a photo. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the text message, tap on the message itself, then go ahead and tap on the three dots. Now from here, you'll find this option called extract text. Go ahead and tap on this. This will now open up your camera at the back and you need to go ahead and point your camera to a text where you want to extract. So for example, this text here, I'll go ahead and place it here. So here, as you can see, it has auto detected all the text for him, for me. So I can just go ahead and point it. Then I can go ahead and copy it. Tap on the text icon here, T, and this will basically copy whatever it sees in the camera. So as you can see, it has copied Hemingweb 30 meters and two centimeter. So this is what it has captured. So whatever it has captured, it has basically converted it from a photo to a text. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and send this off. So this is fast and accurate OCR built in to your Samsung S24 Ultra. It saves time typing long information, and it's great for signs, documents, or handwritten notes. The fifth one is how to create GIFs with AI Select. So did you ever wish you could turn a part of a video into a GIF instantly? Now you can, thanks to AI Select on your Samsung S24 Ultra. So while watching a video or viewing a photo, you can go ahead and long press on a subject to activate AI Select. Then you can choose Create GIF, and this will isolate the movement and generate a high quality animated GIF instantly. So let me show you how to do this. So here you can go ahead and make GIFs out of a video. So we can go ahead and find these videos on TikTok, Instagram, or Snapchat. Or if you have your very own videos, you can go ahead and create GIFs out of that as well. So if you go ahead and open up TikTok, here I've searched for infinite loop. So let's go ahead and use this. So now we'll go ahead and create a GIF out of this. Before we do this, let's go ahead and enable the clear mode so that we get rid of all the overlay. Now we can go ahead and bring down the AI select. Let's go ahead and choose what part of the clip we want. Then we can go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right. Then go ahead and tap on create GIF. Now this will ask you what kind of quality you want. So standard quality or high quality, we'll choose high quality. And then we'll go ahead and tap on record. Now the maximum seconds of GIF you can record is 15 seconds. So it's going ahead and recording that. You can go ahead and stop if in the middle if you want. However, I want to go ahead and record the full 15 seconds. Now, once that's done, this will ask you if you want to save this, share this, copy this, pin this, or just crop it around. I want to go ahead and save this for me. Now I can go ahead and open up my gallery. And here I can go ahead and see my GIF, which I've created. Now I can go ahead and send this off to anyone I like through other messaging apps or email or on other apps. This is the previous one which I've created from TikTok again. So this is perfect for memes, reactions, or sharing fun moments. It uses AI to cleanly extract motions and no third-party app is needed on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The sixth one is how to add notes to your screen recording. So if you're taking a screen recording, you can now add live notes to it. So you can basically start recording a screen and then you can go ahead and tap on the pen icon and you can basically create your notes. So let me show you how to do this. So here you can go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. From here, find your screen recording option, which is right here, screen recorder. Now we'll go ahead and choose what you want to record. If you want to record sound, taps and touches. So yes, we'll go ahead and tap on start. Now using our S Pen, we'll go ahead and start making notes. So there is a pen icon here just on your toolbar. You can go ahead and tap on this. And now you can go ahead and choose what color marking you want, white, black, yellow, 
and so on. We'll make it blue. And now let's say, for example, you open up Google here. And now you can go ahead and make a marking. So you can basically circle something and say, yep. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and take that and then go ahead and tap here. Now you can go ahead and make another note. Like something. Now you can go ahead and switch that off and then go ahead and start typing whatever you have to. So with the pen icon, you can basically draw or write annotation live. So you can basically explain steps highlight sections or just doodle just for fun. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and tap on stop. Now, when you go ahead and look at your, your recording, you'll see your notes, which you have made on the video itself. So this is great for tutorials or walkthroughs. It enhances communication in videos and it's an easy app tool and no need for an editing tool. And lastly, the seventh one is how to record yourself while recording your screen. So do you want to show your face and your screen at the same time? If yes, you have this feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So when starting a screen recording, you can enable the front camera overlay, and this adds a floating window showing your face as you narrate. So while your screen activity is recorded, your face is also being recorded with all your expressions and whatever you're saying. So let me show you how to do this. Here we'll go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu. We'll go ahead and bring down the icons and we'll find the screen recorder. Tap on this. Now you can go ahead and choose what you want to record. So sound and taps and touches. Then we can go ahead and tap on start recording. Now here, this will start the screen recording. And here, this will give you a toolbar right here at the top right. You can go ahead and press pause and you can go ahead and tap on this person icon. This will now enable the screen recording. As you can see, it's a round screen recording. So you can basically record your screen while recording yourself. So you can go ahead and configure the recording of yourself by going into settings. So you can go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. From here, you want to find screenshots and screen recording. And here you can go ahead and scroll down and customize the video selfie. So you can go ahead and make it large or small. So I'll go ahead and make this small. We'll go ahead and start another video recording. We'll go ahead and tap on this person icon. And as you can see, it's now a small icon. You can go ahead and move this anywhere you like on screen. As you can see, this is giving you a green screen effect. Hence it's applying this effect. So this is ideal for reaction videos, tutorials, or gaming. You can personalize your content and it looks pro without needing external apps. So there you go, guys, that is how to turn on. And there you have it. Seven powerful, often overlooked features of the galaxy S25 ultra that can seriously level up your experience. So which one was your favorite? Drop it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share this with your fellow Galaxy fans. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.